Good morning. Last lesson, we learnt a little bit about magnets and magnetism. Today, you are going to do a practical to see if we can get some sort of idea of what a magnetic field would look like if you could see it. Here we go. So to carry out the experiment, you're going to need a magnet and a plotting compass, just like the one we used last time to find all the hidden magnets. The first thing you will do is draw around your magnet, because you're not allowed to keep the magnet. So I want a record of exactly where the magnet was on your page. So you draw around the edge of the magnet. Then you bring the plotting compass up to one end of the magnet. You've got it up to the blue end there, and you'll see that the compass has now aligned itself, or the arrow in the compass has aligned itself with the magnet. To get an idea of what the field lines look like, all we do is we put a little point, once you've got the compass lined up like that, you put a little point where the arrow is pointing, and then you move the compass so the tail of the arrow is pointing at the little dot that you've just made, and then you make another dot. And then you move the compass again, so the arrow of the compass is pointing at the dot that you just drew. You put another dot where the arrow head is pointing. We move the compass again, so the tail of the compass is pointing at the dot you just made. And we put a dot where the arrow head is pointing. And you keep doing that until you get to the edge of the page. Once you've got to the edge of your page, the edge of the sheet of paper, you will join up all the dots and put an arrow in the direction that your compass was pointing. Once you have got one magnetic field line on there, you're going to do the same thing, but you will must start the compass from a very slightly different position. Now you'll see if I start from a slightly higher position on this end of the magnet, you can see the arrow is pointing in a slightly different direction. So now if we were to repeat, oops, if we were to repeat what we did last time, we put a dot where the arrow head is pointing, then we move the compass so the tail is pointing at the dot, we put a dot where the arrow is pointing, then we move the compass so the tail is pointing at the dot you just drew, and so on, you will get a slightly different magnetic field line. And again, you go right to the edge of the page, you draw in your field line, you join the dots, and then you put an arrow showing the direction that the compass was pointing. And then we go back to the magnet again and repeat from a slightly different starting position. I would like you to draw field lines from a whole range, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different positions around the top, can you see how the arrow is changing direction there? And whatever starting positions you have above the magnet over here, I would like you to do the same from below the magnet. Okay, if you finish and come and see me, then you could repeat the experiment with one of our neodymium super magnets. Okay, off you go.